Hi guys, it's Jamie from PMR. More new toys, more really, really good tip lights. This one, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more powerful. This is from BCCT. Now, I got this from uh, um, Tackle Hut and um, they're the guys that are importing it and uh, selling this as the UK stockist. So, without more ado, I'm gonna show you. There's the packet. I'm going to pop this open, drop all this out, and tell you what it's all about. There you go. All right. So, the pieces you've got here. This is for attaching this light to a float. Thing is, that's a bit of a bit of a tight fit but it will fit if you want to put this on a float. And the first thing I know you're gonna say is, well, how much is it? 4.99. On eBay, five or 6.99, I think you'll find from um, Tackle Hut, they are uh, a standard, around about 4.99. Now, you're gonna say, what size are they? How do they compare? Well, let's move all this stuff out of the way for a minute and go, there is your pound coin, so you can see it's a medium sized light but point is it's 60 lumens it's powerful now if I um, grab all the other lights that uh, in periphery that uh, I've used in the past let's get rid of the pound coin and say there's the the old tip light there's the uh, the newer my version the mark 4 if I put them this side there's a a glow stick, I should use a red one. There's one of the isotopes. And there's a glow bug. So you can see it is a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Here's the battery. And if I, again, use the pound coin, you can see that this battery is somewhat bigger. Now, this particular tip light is billed at being able to run for about 60 hours before it goes flat. The reason it's 60 hours and not 90 or 100 as some of the other um, smaller lights, one particular that I reviewed that's uh, an also an excellent light, is because it's so much more powerful. Now, what you've got, this one's a white one, and I've chosen this one specifically. If it's white, it's got this silver tape around here. Now, this one, let's take these out of the way, is blue, donated by the blue. This is red, and I will actually switch them all on in a minute so you can see. There are about seven or eight different colors. There is pink, there is turquoise, there is green, there is mauve. Um, there are a lot of colors, but this is so new that these are the only colours that have so far come into the UK. Now, how it works, doesn't have a screw, it has a pull-on part, that's this bit here, okay? And what you do, you can hear that's very tight, it's quite waterproof. There you go, you pull it off. This has an IP rating of 65, which is the equivalent of uh, the IP rating on a phone, so it's about um, one metre underwater for half an hour with no water ingress okay right there's your battery push your battery in and it comes on well it will do when i push it in properly and then you take the cover you push the cover back on and there is your light now as you can see that is incredibly bright now just to give you an idea you can see the difference and that's the big old light with the hearing aid batteries here's the newer version and this one's yellow but it still doesn't cut it there you go hmm. I'm not going to bother with the isotope because we know that these are meant for very dark beaches and they're not the lightest thing in the world and here is the glow bug and even if you take the uh, top off the glow bug 
it's still nowhere near as bright. All these other lights are around about 10 to 15 lumens and this, this puppy is the whole 60 lumens. So just to show you what the other colours are like is a blue. Now I've been using these on one of my rods recently and it has been brilliant. In fact I've run this and another tip light that's also brand new. There you go. Just so amazingly bright. I'm going to go back to the the white and there is a reason for this and I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, um, as I said, I've uh, been running these um, as a tip light on one of my rods and the reason for doing that was because um, I've just got a little while ago a new a new Sonic the uh, ZX200G which there is a review up uh, a couple of months ago I put that up and uh, it doesn't have a light holder on the tip neither does my M4 Evo or my Profile GT and uh, one of the things I like about this light, although it is a little bit bigger, it comes with these these two holders. And I think these two holders are absolutely excellent. And what happens is the smaller hole clips on to the rod and the bigger hole takes the light. It is so simple. Let me show you. There we go, this is the tip of my Sonic, you see the blue and uh, dark blue, light blue and silver whipping there, it indicates the old Sonic. And um, this is clipped on on the end. Now you can push them up and lock it in, I can push it down and lock it in, I prefer it to be up at the top. And I take my light, I push my light all the way in. As that pushes in it makes this bit here that much tighter and it just completely locks that in. What makes this so special is that this will fit onto pretty much any rod. Now this is the smaller of the two. You get both of these. One's a little bit bigger. If you've got one of those big brute force beach casters that are heavy in the tip, like uh, I would use one of these on my Ziplex M4 Evo, but with uh, the Sonic being a smaller, lighter rod, this is the puppy that I actually use on it. This has been so useful because where I've just uh, acquired a few new rods lately, and also some of the older rods, the uh, the whipping had come off where the uh, the old mounts for the the glow bugs and the uh, the original Mark 1s, like that. And I was going to have to put them on again. This, I can transfer from rod to rod to rod. Such a great idea. Now, there is more. Let me uh, <laughs> put this away. Okay, I'm going to have to pull him out that way. There we go. This has got to go away. So, another brilliant, brilliant, brilliant bit of kit but it's not all roses first of all as you can see this one started to already peel where i've been putting it in and out of holders and the uh, first thing i noticed through using one of these over the last few days this comes off very quickly so <laughs> you end up having to test them to find out what color they are because When you're looking at them like that, that doesn't tell you what colour they are, even though that one's blue and that one's white. Just to give you the example, there you go, that's blue, that's white. So, the tape comes off. The other thing that uh, I found a little bit of a downside with these is that when you finish your 
fishing for the night and you take the battery out and you put the battery back in the other way around to there like that now here's the one that I've been fishing with as you can see again the uh, tapered started to pull around there now if you look carefully you can see there are some marks there and there's some marks there and there's some marks there and if you look at the battery you can also see there you go there's some marks there and some marks there reason being is I took the battery and pushed the battery in a little bit too hard because I pushed this in and I meant to close it all the way up and it pushed the battery in and the uh, battery got stuck and it didn't want to come out and I had to get two pairs of pliers on it so you've got to be a little bit careful and only just push it on a bit don't push it on a lot before you put it in your tackle box otherwise you might get to where you're going and uh, want to be fishing and this little puppy won't come out of here but there is also one rather decent upside and that is because this is 60 lumens what that means is that it's quite a powerful piece of kit it also means if you can see that and this is in the daylight this is normal everyday daylight if your head torch decides to die for whatever reason and you have one or two of these on the end of one of your rods or you have one in your tackle box it will at push come to shove give you enough light to see by to put your tackle away without losing anything and finding those all important car keys which you might not find in the dark when you've put them down so this has a little bit of a multi roll it's also waterproof these are available on eBay these are available from the tackle hut and they're also going to be available from PMR because I really like these I'm Jamie thank you for watching PMR pit my reel we'll see you next time